There's a renewed push to make more products in America. Joining us now to talk more about that is Rick Blake, the founder and president of Edgewater Automation in St. Joseph, Michigan. Good to have you here. And how did your company get off the ground? Because you are making products in America. Thanks for having me. We got our company off the ground, uh, helping the automotive industry automate some of their processes here in Michigan. And then we realized that automation could help a lot of companies. And we started to move out into other industries and that's really made a difference for us. And we now have equipment all over the United States. What industries or companies are you helping? Yeah, so we use a lot of robotics in our automation and we help uh, automotive parts suppliers as well as medical device manufacturers. Um, we're also in commercial products and industrial products. Um, we do things that might be in the house like a, a valve for a bathtub or a light switch, or we might make um, a medical device that might help you in, uh, in daily living. How critical is it to bring jobs back to America? We see it as very critical. Um, the opportunity for automation to help us stay competitive in a global market while building our products where we sell them right here at home adds a high value to all of us because it also creates a whole ecosystem. It's not just the jobs that that we do in making the parts, but it's all of the support that goes along with that. So the work that we bring home with automation, we can stay competitive globally and we can build an entire ecosystem for all of us to make a better a better environment for the future. How would you inspire others to start up their own businesses? First of all, I think we just need to understand that it's a lot of work. So we need to do something we're passionate about. And then in the last couple of years, there's just been lots of different opportunities at which have presented themselves. I think that if we can apply what we're passionate about and solve problems to, to meet the current needs, whether it's logistic needs or manufacturing needs or, or healthcare, wherever those needs might be, um, just try to find a place where you can apply your passions to these growing opportunities. And I think you can build a very interesting and exciting business for now and for the future. What opportunities are you seeing that are available? Yeah, so in, in our little part of the country where we're, where we're trying to automate so much, um, we need support, uh, electrical technicians, we need uh, robotic programmers, we need uh, machine builders. These are areas in which there's just not enough people like for us, we, we would love to see more people get into the kind of space that we're in and the supporting spaces with programming, manufacturing of parts, um, skilled technicians, whether they're pneumatic or hydraulic technicians or electrical technicians. These are all areas that we, we see a significant opportunity. But aren't some robots taking away jobs? I, they do they do replace menial jobs, I think, and maybe dangerous jobs, but I do not see them as taking jobs away. I see them as a way to uh, for us to stay competitive in America and keep jobs in America. Thank you, Rick, for coming on our show and thank you for sharing all of that great information with us. Thank you so much for considering us and I really appreciate uh, appreciate this opportunity. Go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.